you too can own Dinobot in Jungle Camouflage and Urban Camouflage, maybe? and salutations viewers to design Cybertron X coming to you with a new Transformers review. I'm doing it on Beast Wars Dinobot. That's right, Beast Wars Dinobot. This was one of the Transformers that I got in the big old box of toys from Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. I never got this figure for Beast Wars, but I did get it like that. We'll discuss this one later. This is Grimlock, or uh, Dinobot. Grimlock, Dinobot. He's a T-Rex, and this one's a Raptor. Dinobot, voiced by the talented Scott McNeil. Uh, Dinobot was originally a Predacon who decided to join the Maximals after being ousted by Megatron when he challenged Megatron for rule of the Predacons. So now he's a Maximal and fights alongside with Optimus Primal and the others. Dinobot is extremely honor-bound. And that's what I like about this character. And everybody's favorite Dinobot episode, Code of Hero. One of the most epic episodes ever. I mean, Dinobot quotes Shakespeare. Shakespeare. You, you can't go wrong with that. Now, let's go on to the toy. As you can see here, he is a Velociraptor. Make sure I say that right, because I think there's someone out there that would probably get onto me if I said it wrong. I'm looking at you, Mikey. Here you have his beast mode. Really nice. One flaw is that this tail does kind of want to spin around because of the gimmick, but I can forgive that. And you see his feet here. Beast Wars figures were known for showing a lot of robot kibble. This one does it very, very well of not showing it as much, focusing more on the dino mode, or beast mode. Jaw can open and close. <sighs> Dinobots maximize! Yes, that was a bad Dinobot impression. His arms here can pivot. They're on a ball joint. Really, the Beast Wars figures are really when they first start introducing the ball joints. Now let's go on to transformation. To start transformation, remove the tail. And when you do that, he becomes front handy, heavy. I usually start by folding out the arms like so. Folding down the legs. Lifting this back piece up. Connecting it, fold down the legs, rotate, and folding out the feet. And now you have Dinobot in junkie on mode. <laughs> now, Dinobot in parts of the Caribbean, maybe? I don't know. All right. From there, you want to go ahead and rotate these pieces forward to form his, his leg, his arms, fold the head piece down, fold these around, rotate. I like what I like to do is here is fold these pieces back up here, the our raptor claws. And here you go, you have Dinobot in robot mode. It's a really nice robot mode. His accessory weapons is you take the tail, split it, you have his sword that I like to put in that hand, and his tail blade whip thing, whatever, like so. And that gimmick is you push the button and it spins. Head doesn't really want to rotate, but it is on a ball joint. Really nicely. Not much detail. 
And he doesn't have the battle mask, which the other one does, which I like. Posability, 360, in the arms, up and down, shoulder, legs are on a ball joint. But I really do like this figure. It's Dinobot. You I mean, you can't go wrong with Dinobot. This Dinobot is cool. And I just realized my camera is on an angle. <laughs> Dinobot is cool. It's a really nice figure. Now, he did get a repaint in, like, the Armada Universe line. And that's that thing there. Um... I really like this, but I don't like it a l as much as I like Dinobot. Because he actually has the battle mask. I don't like that battle mask. Most people don't like Beast Wars figures because of the kibble and all that. But Grim uh, Dinobot is an exception. He is awesome. He's Dinobot. I mean, you can't go wrong with Dinobot. He is full. Maximize Bacon. This is Cybertron X. Later.